So, okay, and I remember talking to you about the wood uh, as opposed to the canvas, because all of these are on wood canvases. Definitely. This is not, this is not the cotton. The wood comes with a process of growing up and trying to think about the green in life, and mm -hmm. you want to not always take, and I'm tired of artists just always using one medium canvas. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to take something that no one wants to use and reinvent it and use it over and over again. Mm -hmm. So old chairs, tables, I love refinishing furniture and putting a twist on something that would only be seen in one dimension. Okay, that's cool. Um, and you make your own canvases, like yes. you create the wood. You don't just go out and get like, yeah, I need a piece of wood. Yeah, you I'm only a Barbie doll like three days a week. The rest of the time, I put on my little work pants, mm -hmm. my North Face boots, and I really actually just hand out my saw and go to work. Okay, I think it w <laughs> I have some footage of you at your workspace. Ah. I hope we're gonna show that. If we're not showing that now, we'll show that in between the breaks. Since well, we I hope Easter. everybody um, enjoys the studio time yeah, and comes out and uh, comes and sees me at Easter Market. Yeah, because the studio time showed you <laughs> putting it in, because you're putting it in. Always, yeah. always. Yeah, like I say, there's two, two different characters. The one that actually does all the hard work and the one that promotes the work. All right, let's talk about your um, color uses of color because you said you were seasonal I remember you saying yeah. like it's more about how the the colors come out through you as opposed to I'm going to paint with purple this time because I'm such a mixed media artist mm -hmm. a lot of times I can't always get my mediums from summer spring fall I literally just limit and always go that this is what I'm going to use per season certain purples certain blues certain reds mm -hmm. get xed out come springtime because they're a little too dark for the season okay. and I like to offer light and ultimately art is therapy each color has a different attitude and it strikes a different chord in each individual. Okay. But you want to make sure that it's a melody well put together. Yeah, and this melody with the um, notes. <laughs> yeah, that's, I like how it all ties in together. Um, oh, life is music. Yeah, so dancing, is that something you do? I'm just, just you, um, motivation for the pictures. This is, because I know you do a lot of um, contract stuff, so people yeah. get you to do Body specific Body art, right. um, performance art as well, the murals. I always say if you're inventive, I'm willing to try. Okay. So had you had you been educated in the arts or did you just is it like a expression of art? Is it like you went to the yard? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a third generation artist. Okay. So I was blessed enough to come up in a university of Skinner. Hmm. My whole family are artists. So cool. my mother taught my father. My father taught me, my brother taught me as well. He's a graphic designer okay. in Arizona. We do very similar yeah. stuff, except he does the boy version, I do the girl version. So you're <laughs> from Arizona? Um, born in Pittsburgh, raised in Arizona, Pittsburgh? but DC Jamal is my accepted. home. DC is my home. Okay. I have been here for too long. You know, the rest of them, they gave me the first step so that I could continue up the path of life, but DC has fully embraced me. I, I can't consider any other place home but here. Hmm. So no more, more about um, the Beacon House. Uh, well, how long have you been at the Beacon House? I've been at Beacon House for three years. It is a phenomenal thing. The kids are such a refresher. What They're are the ages? Uh, Pre-K all the way up to first year college students. Wow, wow. Yeah, so in the summer I'm pre-K first, second, third grade, and then I run upstairs and go teach the 13, 14, 15 year olds. Then on Monday last year we were doing a mural with a lot of college age mm -hmm. students and a lot of the kids from the summer youth employment program. Okay, so um, bad question I'm not gonna ask that what do you like best that's not a good question but I love them all I figured that would be the answer I mean, that's no, why I, it, <laughs> but, but you know it's kind of different like the other day I went in to, to ask my students just a bunch of questions what did you learn all the older kids were like oh Miss Quest you know I don't really remember but I, I felt empowered when it was over empowered. I felt you know <laughs> yeah. I, felt, I felt strength what? that's fine and that's your response I went downstairs to see the little ones three little girls ran up to me and they're like Miss Quest I'll tell you what we did we made cookies because we had culinary art and then we <laughs> went ahead and we made mosaic string art and when you see it in their own attitude it's all and worth just it. words they're like mosaic great. they get that and they it's like a it's like a it's, it's you've got to take growth. something as big as mosaic as big as renaissance art and break it down into something that they understand every day which mm -hmm. is their selves their family and once you do that it's just as easy as saying mosaic is broken glass mm -hmm. every time you drop and break a plate you can create art okay. every family every house in dc has an artist we just have to start going beyond the, the windows in the front door and actually get inside and see who's there for us i hear that 
So what's next for skin, um, fresh skin? <laughs> what's next? What's next? Murals this summer, great experiences, hopefully for the next five years, but at some point maybe doing a 501c3 okay. and hoping that you know we can get donations and have kids really get involved in the city, maybe take some of these areas and offer them back to the communities. Let the communities have them back. See who can maybe have the best art block party and at the same time, adding art into every back alley in DC would change would change the whole aesthetics of it. Okay. There's not one limit. From here on out, it's the sky. I hear that. So <laughs> so you're trying to do your own Skinner House, Quest Skinner House, as opposed to Deacon, or oh, just something different? It doesn't have to be the Skinner House. Okay. As long as every kid in the city knows, and every young adult, and every woman who's trying to better herself, they know that they can come to me. It can be my little 10 by 10 at Easter Market. Hmm. We hold congregation there every Saturday and Sunday. It's divas only. <laughs> Okay, I feel you. Most I feel, um, and I asked you about this before the, uh, I guess the feminist twist. I, I mean that that's kind of harsh because feminine, feminist, right? Cause feminine I would harsh. definitely say feminine. Feminine and, and proud of it. You know, okay. every woman should embrace her lipstick side. Hmm. You don't have to wear lipstick every day, but you have to occasionally get dressed up and put it on. Right. And if you look at who you are as a woman, you need to embrace that lovable side. And every now and then, you can't always be sweet when you're reprimanding your kids but you can be sweet when to yourself when when it, when the time calls okay about the um question about the business side of the art because business, business and art <laughs> i know you saw my face man. yeah 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 but you you seem to handle it well because a lot of artists have a problem with i have to do this for someone i want to be creative and just mm -hmm. dive into my and swim and you know but you, you seem to you can't get look it. at you can't look at it like that as though Every decision is a laborious one. Some of them are meant to pull you out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and to create more for yourself as well as for everyone around. Right. When I get a, a client and they come up to me and they go, well, I'm really picky or I'm really tough, I look at them and I go, no, you really know what you want. Right. And I wanna make sure you get exactly what you want because ultimately, that's what, what life should be about, mm -hmm. Fil f fulfilling those little pleasures. And because I know they're gonna live with the peace forever, I want them to have the best experience when they walk away. Okay. And honey, if you ever see me in a store, kitties, you don't want to get me upset, you know, because I know what it's like to be good customer service. Mm. It means everything. It is, a it is a difference between being in business for two years or being in biz business for 20 years. But regardless, repeat business is what every business thrives off of. And you hope you get it on a regular basis. Okay, so you so you feel comfortable with like being of the a business mind? Because I mean, you seem like I said, you seem to do a great job at it. But does it does it like get under your skin at sometimes when it cause does it interfere with your art? That's a good. That's how I want to say. They're it. my family. I've learned to combine what most people either put one or the other. Mm -hmm. You know, my clients come up, their little kids run up to me and they go, Auntie Quest. So no, I can't throw them to the side because being from Arizona, they became part of my family. They offered me love and shelter and sometimes conversation. And when I'm having a bad day, they give me the same energy back. So it's all reciprocated. So nothing is lost. Everything is gained.